Uh, hi everyone. Good evening. Uh, hi Anjali. Hi Siddhi. Evening Pratnesh. Evening Pratne uh, Pratik. Uh, hi Rudra. Wish you guys a happy New Year. Uh, hi Sanika. Hi Pratnesh. I hope you guys had a good time. किसी ने कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग करा न्यू ईयर ईव पे सब घूमने फिरने में गए या फिर पढ़ाई कर रहे थे ऑलराइट वी हैव हॉकी प्रैक्टिस क्या बात है पार्थ मतलब तुम तो एकदम अनुषा ने केक खाया सुमित नाइट आउट मारा नाइस गुड गुड घर वाला न्यू ईयर भी मना रहे हो तुम लोग अभी तो गुड गुड लॉन्ग ड्राइव एंड ऑल अच्छा मैं बिस्तर पे सो गया <laughs> ये कौन था <laughs> अच्छा गजब गजब house party with relatives ha rain do lakshmi tum ghar pe baith ke pad rahi thi tum tum se na ho payega chalo good guys i hope uh, this has been uh, like the past year has been an interesting year in terms of uh, how things have gone by too much of uncertainty not that the new year has come with a lot of certainty but yet we hope so things are going to be better and uh, we hopefully should get a chance to have offline classes <clears throat> ha but theek hai abhi dheere dheere iski bhi aadat lagi gayi hai हाँ लेट सी हाँ हाँ स्पेशली हाँ जिनका ट्रैवल टाइम बहुत लगता था उन लोगों के लिए इट इज अ बेटर ऑप्शन लाइक यू आर एबल टू सेव मच ऑन द टाइम एस्पेक्ट हाँ ये देखो ये पार्ट आ गया नोट्स मांगने पार्ट तुम्हारा नोट्स मांगने का सीन कब तक चलता रहेगा भाई तुमको खुद से पेन नहीं चलाना है ऑल राइट
नहीं नहीं पेन तो तुम लोगों को थोड़ा बाद में चलाना रहेगा जब बाद में आई गिव यू द नोट्स टू कॉपी एंड मेक श्योर एवरीथिंग इज इन प्लेस हां नहीं नहीं थर्मोडायनेमिक्स वोंट बी दैट लॉन्ग एज केमिकल बॉन्डिंग सो या आई जनरली टीच एट द अंधेरी सेंटर अंधेरी एंड दादर प्राइमरीली बट वी डोंट नो हाउ थिंग्स गो इन फ्यूचर हाँ टुमारो बॉन्डिंग आल्सो वी हैव अ लेक्चर एंड वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद थर्मो ओनली थोड़ा सा टाइम हम लोग जरूर निकालेंगे फॉर बॉन्डिंग का डाउट डिस्कशन सो अभी हम लोग थर्मो से स्टार्ट करेंगे लाइक आई डिड नॉट वांट टू स्टार्ट द session with the doubt part itself so i'll quickly take you through the basics of this new chapter that is thermodynamics and thermochemistry and uh, then towards the later part of the class we can also spend some time into doubts as well nahi to ek bar kal ka schedule aap logo ko time table mil gaya kya agle week ka have you guys received the time table for next week not yet no ha uh, mujhe bhi nahi aaya hai to theek hai अदरवाइज अगर डाउट लेक्चर रहेगा लाइक लास्ट वीक वॉज समथिंग विच वी डेंट हैव द डाउट लेक्चर एक्चुअली वो मेरा ही थोड़ा कुछ घूमने फिरने का प्लान्स थे तो उसकी वजह से क्लासेस को रिशेड्यूल करना पड़ा बट ठीक है वी विल मेक श्योर दैट नेक्स्ट वीक वी डू हैव अ डाउट लेक्चर नहीं रहेगा तो हम लोग अलग से भी कर लेंगे ठीक है ऑल राइट चलो देन लेट्स बिगिन टुडे सेशन विल स्टार्ट विद द थर्मोडायनेमिक्स एंड थर्मोकेमिस्ट्री नाउ अगेन फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर इनफैक्ट यू विल आल्सो स्टडी अबाउट थर्मोडायनेमिक्स पार्ट इन फिजिक्स एज वेल अभी आपका फिजिक्स में कौन सा चैप्टर चल रहा है दोनों ट्रैक्स में वर्क पर एनर्जी एंड ऑप्टिक्स ओके हाँ तो इसके बाद आई थिंक देर शुड बी अ पार्ट जहां पर थर्मो भी आपका शुरू हो जाएगा हाउ केमिस्ट्री में हम लोग पहले स्टार्ट कर देते हैं थर्मोडायनेमिक्स and uh, something which will be very specific to chemistry that we will cover after some classes will be the aspect of thermochemistry jahan par we will be applying the laws of thermodynamics on uh, chemical reactions now <clears throat> ha ha right तो चैप्टर थोड़ा तो बड़ा है इट इज नॉट एज स्मॉल एज यू माइट एक्सपेक्ट लाइक समथिंग लाइक मोल कंसेप्ट इट इज रेलेटिवली बिगर देर आर सर्टन इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट जिनको बिल्ड करने में थोड़ा टाइम लगता है तो आप मान के चलो कि यू नो वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद कॉन्सेप्चुअल बिट फर्स्ट आपको होमवर्क एंड न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग मे बी आई विल बी एबल टू गिव यू फ्रॉम you know second or third lecture onwards now what thermodynamics is yahan pe notice karna it deals with understanding of interconversion of various forms of energy when certain processes happen for example jab hum log gaseous state uh, chapter ke bare mein baat kar rahe the right we had studied ideal gas and its properties and we did uh, take ideal gas into you know certain processes like we took ideal gas we heated it or we compressed it and while uh, those processes were happening we really didn't uh, bother much with the energy exchanges we were more interested in understanding you know 
these properties of pressure, temperature, volume, how they change. Okay. However, to demonstrate, uh, you know, these energy exchanges, I think I can share one quick example with everyone. Let me see if I can find a quick short video on it. I myself uh, found it some years back. Ha, but wo kuch hai interesting sa. Let me share with you guys. All right. So, uh, Nigel, what have we got here? Oh, we've got something called a fire syringe. And what does it do? Oh, well, I'll show you what it does. Some cotton wool in there. Okay. I'm just going to compress the air in it, and hopefully it will. I don't know what it's going to do. Wow. You made a, a spark in there. Was there any source of fire, like a match or anything down there? Well, as you can see, it's pretty transparent. There was no match in there. Um, it was actually just the compression of the air on top of it, um, which was able to ignite the, um, the cotton wool that we had in there. So you're saying if we compress air, we can make it hot enough to ignite cotton? Yeah, but because air is made up of particles. So when you're actually compressing it, you're forcing those particles to collide closer together, which is actually going to raise the temperature of in the inside of that tube there. Okay, can you describe the apparatus for it? Uh, well, all there is, is there's a glass chamber in there where the cotton wool sits. And as you can see, there's this piston that moves up and down into that glass chamber. And as it moves up and down, you can actually compress the air. So it's like a little plunger. Like a, like a little plunger, yeah. Okay, so uh, why don't we set one up uh, so we can do it again? Do it again? Okay, I'll clean the remnants out. What are the tricks here? Uh, the trick is to get not too much, but not too little cotton wool. And it's good to get it aerated so that there's a lot of air around it, so it makes it much easier to um, ignore it, just like a good fire. Is it just me, or do you feel like we're on a cooking show? I feel like we're on a cooking show, yes. Who do you think would be Jamie Oliver in this situation? Would it be you or me? I'm more manly, so... He's more like Nigella Lawson, let's face oh, it. That's a good title. words. <laughs> I wish. All right, we're ready for this? Yes. Simple as that. Obviously, no matches, no switches, no anything. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll try it. Again? You want me to try? You can try it. Yeah, do, you uh, do you have the strength? <laughs> we're going to find we'll out. We'll find out. This is going to be awkward. <laughs> Derek, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is compress the air in there. And uh, by compressing it, I'm going to increase its temperature because we're pushing all these air molecules together. And if I get it hot enough to the ignition point of cotton, hopefully cotton will catch on fire. Yeah, I've heard that the um, auto ignition temperature of, of cotton is about 400 degrees Celsius. So you can get quite, a, quite enormous amounts of temperature from a very quick compression. Three, two, one. Surprise. Beginner's luck. Yeah. yeah, check that out. So I guess we could generalize and say if you All right, great. So I hope you guys got a good look at the <clears throat> experiment. It's a very simple setup. Like you took a gas and you applied a simple process over it. Right? Like you just compress the air. I'll try and kind of give you an explanation behind. So there was some cotton which was present inside. Right? And uh, there was this plunger which was pushed inside and was pushed in a fast manner. The fast part is actually quite crucial. Like if you would try to uh, do it in a slow manner, then it will, it will not work. So what happened over here is that energy exchanges happened. What kind of energy exchanges happened? So someone, say the guy who was there in the video, he did work. He did mechanical work. Doesn't he push down this piston and that resulted into heat. However, because the process was done fast, 
the heat didn't get much time to escape from these glass walls and it rose the internal temperature the internal temperature increased and because of that the cotton got ignited if we do it slowly then what happens is that that work gets time to get dissipated in form of heat from the walls of this tube so that is why this fast played an important role we could have done it slow as well but then you would have required to kind of uh, you know insulate this tube you shouldn't allow any heat to escape then only the inside temperature will rise no no there there wasn't any vacuum there wasn't any vacuum it was uh, some gas like normal air that was present inside it no, nothing special kind of air like normal air also would do even normal air would do there is no special kind of gas there that, that is present so this was a simple experiment which demonstrates one of the key things that we were missing or that we in fact didn't discuss in our uh, gaseous state chapter in gaseous state we did discuss about gases we did discuss about pressure volume and temperature and how they change when we take gas from one state to another state however in this particular chapter thermodynamics and thermochemistry like we are going to study interconversion of various forms of energy so this is where our now focus would be ठीक है हाँ, you will be able to answer this question, Prathvi. So Prathvi has uh, a lot of questions. Uh, you know, like uh, Harsh also has the same set of questions. That in case of slow, uh, you know, compression, then uh, would it show the same effect? The answer is no, not really. Because as I said, that uh, if you do, uh, you know, push down that plunger slowly, then you will give the heat. uh you know adequate time for it to escape into surroundings here what we did was we compressed it uh, suddenly and that kind of uh, you know led to this sudden increase in temperature so yes i'm i'm sure that you guys have uh, still a lot of questions as to you know what really happened and uh, that is the curiosity that we are really going to be uh, you know working on in this chapter theek okay. hai so good that you guys are uh, aware about this good that you guys are uh, you know intrigued by this small setup small experiment now the modern day uh, you know engineering or you know lot of processes that happen around us work on these thermodynamic principles also like for example the automobiles around you their engines uh, the refrigerator around you right or air conditioner around you they all work on these fundamental principles of thermodynamics so these principles they govern almost everything around us and in fact uh, is something which is a very robust uh you know concept in itself however as i said that uh, we do deal with various forms of energy and their interconversion but there will be certain limitations to this chapter of thermodynamics and uh, one such limitation will be that at our level as per our syllabus we will be focused on macroscopic level like we will be applying laws of thermodynamics on the bulk system right so for example you have solid or you have liquid or you have gas we will have a sample of it and on that sample we would be applying these laws of thermodynamics and not on individual particles now this is something which is taken care in higher studies when we talk about statistical thermodynamics this is not 
part of our syllabus but i would really want you to be aware about it that there is this branch of thermodynamics which goes into particle levels of details what we have with us as part of our syllabus is the uh, you know introductory concepts of thermodynamics in this chapter secondly another important limitation that we'll be working with thermodynamics is that thermodynamics will not provide us any information regarding the rate of process or time taken for the process so as a result of thermodynamics as a result of the first law of thermodynamics or second law of thermodynamics we will be able to understand you know changes in energy heat work temperature all those things but we will not be able to uh, you know kind of uh, get into the details of time taken we do not get into this process of time taken because thermodynamics ke laws they don't really tell anything uh, you know uh, they don't tell us much about uh, how fast or how slow processes happen this is again uh, you know taken care in another chapter which is called as chemical kinetics this is again another branch of uh, chemistry in which we discuss Uh, you know how fast or how slow a reaction would be right is chapter mein we can say reaction hoga ki nahi hoga that will be governed by thermodynamics and reaction hone par kitna heat release hoga ya kitna heat absorb hoga that is also thermodynamics but reaction